So in this video, we are going to configure the cluster for the failover cluster, uh, sorry, storage for the failover cluster. And the part we are going to do is this. We are going to add a new disk to, to server one, then enable iSCSI target on this. And then we're going to go into both of these servers through iSCSI initiator, we, we are going to connect to this disk. So in this way, this disk will be shared in these two machines. So this is required for failover cluster. So let's do this. So first of all, let's see how many disks are here at the moment. So I'm gonna go to this PC, this is showing me only only one disk, the other one is D drive. So there is no additional disk. I'm going to go back to settings, and within settings, I am going to uh, within settings, I'm going to add a second disk. Okay, so here we can go to add. Here I can see there is only one disk. So I'm going to select the hard disk, and the hard disk that we are going to select is. 10 GB. So in this, I'm going to go with 10 and that's it. Done. So once this is done, 10 GB disk is added. And uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to make it online and initialize this. So we don't still don't see the disk here. The disk is basically within the file and uh, within the file and storage settings here. And in this, I can go to first of all disk and I should be able to see an offline disk here. So it's just loading up. And this is the offline disk. We need to bring that up, bring it online. And then I need to create a new volume for this. So press next. I can move myself on this side. And uh, here, press next. And next, and next, and done. So the new volume, it will be created. So it is the new volume is created. Now we need to create an iSCSI target. So in order to create an iSCSI target, we need to go to iSCSI settings here. And here it says to install the iSCSI target on the server, go to roles and features. So we need to go to roles and features, which it automatically starts and it has selected iSCSI target. So this is a good thing. Uh, previously we had to go here and add the target. So we added the target. So iSCSI target is a server that basically offers uh, that is the server that offers the storage. So when we create an iSCSI server, when we need iSCSI storage, uh, we need two two things. One is iSCSI target. The second one is iSCSI initiator. iSCSI target is iSCSI target is a server. iSCSI target is a server. iSCSI target is always a server that has the storage. And these two will be iSCSI initiators uh, that need to connect to the storage. So in this case, while this is setting up, I am going to open. I will open here iSCSI initiator. So which is this? And so it says iSCSI initiator service is not working. iSCSI service is not working. Need to start this. And on this one, here we need to uh, start iSCSI initiator service. So it starts and the iSCSI, so this opens. So once the target is ready, then we will use the IP address. So I will type the IP address basically here. So the IP address was 10.12, 10.10 .10, actually. So these two are initiator, they will be trying to connect to this one. So I will type the IP address of the iSCSI target server here, and it won't connect at the moment. Why? Because the iSCSI target is not ready yet. So we'll wait for this one to be ready, and then we will uh, click quick connect. It should automatically show us here and uh, that basically that will be it then within the discovery it should automatically show us the uh, show us the disk so here but here we need to do a few steps once this is all done this is done uh, so and in here if i can refresh uh, i should be able to so here uh, disable will be completed when the service server inventory so here uh, okay, so iSCSI target is ready. Now it's saying create the iSCSI virtual disk. Before it was saying the target, and now it's saying the virtual, the virtual disk. So within the virtual virtual disk, I need to go here, and here it shows me that I have two disks and only one. Uh, so I can select this one that I selected for the cluster. Make sure that this is online uh, and formatted. So I'm going to click next on this, and here I'm going to name this. So this is iSCSI. Uh, VD. So iSCSI virtual disk. I just took the name from here and I'm going to number it one. Uh, so here, how, how much space do I need? So here I'm going to say I'm going to need is 
uh, 5 GB. So I'm going to leave 5 GB. So in this, uh, so now here we need to add these two machines. So where the iSCSI initiator is, assign the iSCSI virtual disk to the existing target. Actually, so here, no. So first of all, this one is uh, this one is that I need to assign this disk to this target. Remember, we just en enabled the target. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna go with here. I'm gonna go with new iSCSI target, and here I'm gonna name this as target name. So. Uh, iSCSI target name one. So as you can see, I'm just using the same name. Now here we need to add the IP addresses of these two servers. So it's saying that the iSCSI initiator that need to access the target. So add, and here I'm gonna use the first one, the 192.168.10.12. And so here I'm gonna say browse. Okay, I can go by name as well. I can go by name. Uh, or I can go by IQN. IQN is uh, with the target, let's see. Um, IQN is, IQN should be, I, IQN, I think this is the IQN. So I can copy this complete, and I can go here and enter the IQN type. Here I can type this complete and browse, or I can go, and normally we'd go, in, go by computer name, so computer name is 360 cloud, SRV02. I'm going to copy this name. So first of all, I'll connect to this one. And okay, so browse and check name here. So here it found this and okay. And I'm going to do this. And this is the IQ and value that came from there. Uh, so this one, so all you need to do, so no need to go for IQN. Here we can go with just the server name. So server name is 02. And I'm gonna just click OK on this. It will try to find and it found this one. So both are fine and here we need to go to next. Here you don't need to anything, do anything. Here now we can create. So now in this in this video what we did basically we created the iSCSI target server and then we added the disk. So first of all we added a new disk, then we created the target server, then we configured the disk with this target, and then we allowed access to this disk. So this one is done. And uh, on these now, now we can go back to target here. So how did I went to the this screen? So configuration on this one is finished, done. And here, all we need to do is to set up the initiator. So I'm going to go to initiator, and on this, type the IP address of iSCSI target. So this is target is this and we can say quick connect now this won't be connected unless we do the previous step that we just did so this is done and uh, it's all done uh, and we can say this is connected and we need to do the same thing here it is connected and done and so we can close this one now in order to see this we need to see that where is the disk so this can be connected to only one server at a time so here it's not here but then it, the disk will be here. So disk is shared now, uh, but disk is, okay, so it's not here in both of them. What we, what we need to do, we need to format the disk. So we need to go to back to the uh, file and server, storage server, and here in the disk, we should be able to see one offline disk here. So either on this one or this one, whichever is connected first, yeah, it is on this one, because we connected, this is the 5 GB disk, and here we need to bring it online. And once it is online, we need to format this. So this will be this disk will be used for the cluster. So we create a disk. I know there are a lot of steps here. So I'm going to use this as cluster disk and done. Okay, so once this is done, disk is connected and it's shared. So this is what is known as iSCSI disk. So disk, if it, so it, it is a shared disk that will be connected to both of the servers. Okay, so this one is done. We can go to now. Here I can see this cluster disk, and here it's not in here at the moment. And we can just verify the disk is here. So this is the target server. These two are initiator, and this is the setting that we needed for the cluster.